Hey everyone, this is my new race frame, hopefully, for 2020, if it all works out. This came out here so you can get a good look. It's like super stretched, as you can see, and I've put the weight forward, so the rear arms are actually the same length as what I had in an 800X frame. Um, so it, it's still it's like 805 from here to here. And yeah, from there, there obviously, but props are super close, so not quite touching there. The front one's pretty close. Um, the whole idea is to keep the what they call frontal area, which in aerodynamics is really what it's all about. Um, the smaller the frontal area is, the less you're trying to push through the air. So. Yeah, yeah, humongous stupid cat banks here. That's because these motors are some experimental ones that I got made. Um, they're very heavy. They weigh 500 grams each, but they're 45, 25, and they're basically the same state as that are out of big ass heli motors. So it's yeah, a serious motor. I want to put a lot of caps. I've not flown it yet, and here it is. It's about to have its maiden and if it all works out I'm gonna put FPV gear on it and fly it around so yeah it's um crazy heavy it's like these are 500 grams each the whole thing's like three kilos not including the battery when I run it properly I'm gonna run two of these on the two inputs so it'll be a 6,000 all up which I know from benching these motors is gonna be required uh, this is just the first little line of sight test. Yeah, I'll we'll see how it goes. I'm bloody nervous because I haven't flown it yet. Um, Welcome to Toronto. Started at 1,000. putting these on so I can get voltage Hi, telemetry. Just using Zero the native design. stuff. From the, uh, the native input on the Radix. Battery critical. Low battery. Convenient. Oh. Well, I fucked that up, didn't I? Yeah, let's just see what <laughs> I swear to god I tested that. Zero. Anyway. Let's just see what happens if it Oh, it looks creepy with that weird stretch, but I think it's going to be all right. Does everything it's supposed to, except for the fucking current monitoring. Ah, uh, that was annoying, but yeah, it worked. Everything acted as it should. You can see that hot at all? You might be wondering why the hell do we have all these caps? It's because I plan on cranking it absolute Point full throttle eight. for it. You know, seeing how fast it can really go. And um, yeah, that was cool. Sort of worked. Except for this, obviously shorted that. I've done that before and it was fine. 
Obviously it doesn't kill the flight controller. Anyway, yeah, right, sweet. So we're gonna put in the FPV shit and um, get it going. All right, this is it. The weather's gone horrific, but um, I'm ready to do a speed test. Man, look at this. This is definitely the most power I've ever tried to chunk through a race quad. And um, yeah, <laughs> I'm a bit intimidated to be honest. 6,000 milliamp hour, two inputs, mega motors. Um, I've got the GPS on there, which is hopefully going to work like a, the Speedo. But to try and confirm it, I've got this, which I'm going to run in super slow mo on narrow, pointing down there. They are all exactly two and a half meters apart. And the idea is I'm going to rip past them and compare that to the speedo. Alright. Yeah, this is just psycho, man. The whole thing, like all together, everything weighs five kilos. Two kilos worth of batteries and three kilos worth of quad. Holy shit, that was hectic. <laughs> it worked. Please don't kill me, please don't kill me. <sighs> oh, fuck. What was that? Oh. What the hell is that beep? My nose are warm, batteries are warm. Yes, these are warm everything's warm totally should be but it did not blow up man it was badass i don't know what the fuck that beep was but anyway there you have it guys new race quad i think it's good it'll be good for racing that's fast it's faster than other stuff i think anyway we'll have to see what the data says